So it's been a few days since I last uploaded a YouTube video. I said I would upload every day and I've missed three days. That's because things have been going on. So I must apologize for that. But for those who don't know, hello, my name is Oliver and I was recently involved in an incident involving my car. And it has ticked me off quite a little bit, to say the least. I had someone heartbreak in front of me. Now, if you're not aware, go check out the previous videos on it. So this is a update because I have been in correspondence with the investigation team today, as well as the uh, write-off, writing off my car team. So, I just want to give this quick update, because I need to speak it out, really. We'll start off with the investigations team, as I recently just got off the phone to them, like, in the last couple of minutes. So, the investigation team were very helpful. Um, I need to be giving a statement very soon. That's what they want. They want me to write out a statement. They're going to come out and do a proper statement and everything. And I need to send over photos and videos and everything that I've got of the incident that's happened. So I will be doing that shortly. They seem to be very helpful and very useful with everything. So I applaud them on that uh, because not many insurance companies are helpful in that regard. So, you know, hopefully we can get to the bottom of this and get everything sorted. But Needless to say, I've been made aware that the other party did not make a claim, which is very interesting. Um, and the lady I spoke to on the phone told me that scammers don't make claims through the insurance. They go through, I can't remember the name of it, but they go through someone else. Um, I want to say it's like a solicitor or something. I can't remember. But basically, they go through someone else and not through the normal insurance route. So there could still be a claim coming our way. And if that is the case, it's likely because they're a scammer, which is always fun. And they're also querying if the driver was an uninsured driver. The car was insured at the day of the incident. However, was the car insured to the driver or not? That is the question we don't know. We don't know yet because we don't have their names. So they're contacting the other person's insurance company and working all those details out. So that's the investigations team sorted out and I will update you further if I, if and when I hear things. So moving on from that, we are heading on to the claim department who have written off my car. And in the last video, I mentioned that they offered me 700 pounds for my car. Well, I said no, obviously. Why wouldn't I say no? And this has been a continual back and forth between them. And I am not going to be accepting anything less than a figure that I've got in my brain. And I think £700 is absolutely horrendous because you couldn't even buy a decent Peugeot 206 these days for that. So, no, I'm not taking the £700 and there has been a constant back and forth today between me and them because I rejected it and they went, well, we can't offer you any more. And then they did offer me more. They offered me £748 and I said no. And then they offered me £1,013, which is even better. And I still said no. I think it was 1013. They were writing off the, like, so there's damage on the back of my car as well. I bought it like that. There's like a tiny little dent on the rear bumper, um, which I could just go under and pop it out myself. I just haven't ever got around to it because I don't really need to. It's shallow. You don't really notice it. So um, I can't remember if that includes it or not, uh, that damage bit, because they were trying to get me on that bit. So it's around 1013 or about around the 1200 pound mark. And I said no because that isn't acceptable for my car. Um, and I will be buying my car back from the insurance once it's all settled. So this has now been escalated to the management department because I have completely refused. I am not letting Copart take my car um, and I am not going to accept anything less than the figure. Well, I'll accept less than the figure I've got. Like I've got a, a median, shall I say. I've got a figure where it's like, you know, this is acceptable and I've told them and I said, you know, once you minus excess and everything, this is what I'm looking at. And, you know, I said, I want to still be able to get a reasonable car. Um, you know, I've got a child. I want to get a safe car. I'm not going to be buying a rust bucket or anything like that. And so it's now been escalated to the management department, which is always fun. Um, <laughs> so hopefully we're going to be able to get that sorted really soon. Hopefully they're going to be upping the amount that they're offering for me. Um, and it's likely that I'm going to buy back the car from the insurance company anyway, even though it's going to be a cat B or D or whatever it's going to be. It's not structural. I can't remember which cat it's going to be. So, you know, even though there'll be that, I will still probably likely buy it back. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm on the fence and a few things. But yeah, so, oh, sorry. Let me, let me just mention that I, um, 
when they were refusing, it got escalated because I basically told them that I'm going to be posting on social media. Like, obviously, I haven't addressed my insurance company yet, and I haven't gone any further into other specific details yet. But I have that in my back pocket that um, if this isn't going to be sorted, then I said I'd put it on social media because I have a decent following. Decent. I've got 13,000 subs, you know, so hopefully we can get that sorted. So, yeah, we are waiting on that. Um, that's why it's been escalated. I also said I'm willing to contact the Ombudsman and a solicitor. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But I just don't want to be screwed about with my car because at the end of the day, um, one of my subscribers made me aware that Ford Focuses are uh, not being made anymore or are soon to not being made, which is only pushing up the price of the car. And the car is its a decent car. It's okay, it's a bit higher mileage, sure, that's fair enough, but it's a diesel and that's fine. And it's a well looked after engine and it is a 1.6 turbo diesel and it's got great miles per gallon and alloy wheels. And you know, it's a, it's a bulletproof car basically. And even in the incident, they proved it comparing the damage from one car to the other it's it's a tank it's a tank so you know the fact that they want to write off my car for so little is absolutely devastating um you know can anyone go and buy a 2014 1.6 turbo diesel um ford focus in white with alloy wheels and a decent engine oh and 12 months mot can anyone do that for 700 quid of course not of course not so that's where we're at at the moment um and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I just thought I'd give a quick update. In regards to the channel and future videos on this channel, I have maybe one or two videos coming. I've got the footage, it's just compiling them into a video, which will likely be out tomorrow. I'm, I don't know if I can get one or two videos out, so we'll see. It was Matt came over from France, so he uh, did some filming and I did some filming and I've got the footage so we'll see what we can make in regards to that but apart from that it's everything's going good everything's going well everything's going dandy um we've got a lot coming up very soon you know in um 10 days I am heading south for the first time since January which is going to be cool we're going to be going south because my um they, my parents get married so we're going to a wedding and then what else is going on? Oh yeah, a few days later, we're heading out the country to New Zealand. Yay! So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and stay tuned for future content. But until next time, adios my miss amigos. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Um, and thank you to absolutely everyone who has commented on my uh, video about the crash because I've had so much helpful advice. I've had so many people reach out. So many people tell me the legal aspects of things and like you have no idea everyone you subscribers have seriously helped me a lot you have no idea so i applaud you all thank you so much adios i'll see you guys in the next video which will be up tomorrow hopefully goodbye for now bye 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 bye